Stay the fuck inside, 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 stay the fuck inside. Madison McFerrin is a soul singer living in Brooklyn. She's not the only musician in the family. Her brother's a producer and plays keyboards. Her grandfather was the first black man to sing at the Metropolitan Opera. And if you're familiar with one of the most recognizable pop songs ever written, then you've probably heard of her dad. You might want to sing it note for note, don't worry. Be happy. My father is 10-time Grammy-winning vocalist Bobby McFerrin. His vocal capability isn't intimidating at all. But she's been working to make her name for herself. And over the last year or so, it's been paying off. A live version of her latest single got over a million hits on YouTube. We could fly, take a leap of faith, it's time to decide. But then the pandemic happened, and that makes keeping up momentum difficult. All of her performances now are online, and she's come up with some ways to keep things interesting. I did not know that was coming. <laughs> trying to surprise you, bro. I'm trying to surprise you. I've really taken the time to reach out to folks in individually, like even fans. Like I've been reaching out on a one-on-one -on -one basis and really connecting with, with my family and friends because we're all in the house and ain't nobody going nowhere. <laughs> it's a tough situation, but instead of stressing about it, she started singing about it. So this is a, a little loop that I made up called Stay the Fuck Inside. I need you to stay the fuck inside. I need you to stay the fuck inside. I need you to stay the fuck inside. Where did that song come from, though? It was a couple weeks ago, and I just stepped outside to get some air and I heard the ice cream truck. And I was like, who the fuck said that it was okay for us to have the ice cream truck out right now? Like, I'm sorry. Oh, that's torture. That's torture. Like, of course I want a rocket pop right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is affecting, I think different communities differently. And I think a lot of people are missing that. I'm privileged enough to be able to stay the fuck inside, but unfortunately communities of color have been affected more more than anybody else and i think that it should be a wake-up call as to the systematic racism that is incredibly prevalent in our country i mean it's have you thought about what your first concert is going to look like when you're actually able to have it that's a tough question because you know we really don't know like for one thing it's like what's the capacity going to be like how many people are going to be allowed to be at shows so like if my first live performance has to be in my living room with 10 folks like cool that's that's cool i'm just looking forward to sharing energy with folks so that when i tell my jokes i'm not just like <laughs> doing a laugh track <laughs> that kind of thing I mean, this is a track that actually made me want uh, to hear more from you, to hit you up. Tell me a little bit about it. So uh, this first track is a song called Try. It's particularly fitting for right now because when I was writing the EP, I knew that I wanted it all to be about relationships. And I mm -hmm. knew that I wanted one that had to do with your relationship to yourself. And so this is about, you know, trying your best to be your best selves. It stemmed from an argument that I had with my boyfriend <laughs> and he, he wrote try on a piece of paper and then like slammed it down and stormed out of our apartment. But he came back, he came back. Cause I might not know 